Shalom family, I have another message for somebody that if you have been feeling very uh, disorganized, confused, um, and I'm just going to be honest, if you know that your house, this is where I saw in a dream, I was in a, a home and the kitchen was really messy, um, it just had lots of pots, pans, but it's like they were there for months. There was even like little, it looked like a little, I can only say an organism, it looked like, it didn't, I can't say a worm, but there was something like moving around in one of the pots of old stuff. And I remember I was there, but I don't remember seeing my son, but I, I knew that my son was there or there was a little child with me. And um, there was somebody speaking in the dream that like apologizing, like they felt really shame, uh, ashamed of their home. And the flooring, like it was just, it was a, quite a mess there. And I only saw the kitchen. And that was to do, this is what the Lord is speaking to me, with spiritual food. If you've been going around eating everywhere, I mean listening to so much stuff, that your, it's like your spirit has been polluted. It's been just, you know, there's too much going on that you kind of, you're feeling confused. And how you know this? Because it will always manifest in your physical, if your home is a mess, okay? It doesn't have to just be your kitchen. That's what the Lord has shown me where it stems from. But if your home is a mess and you're finding it very hard to stay on top of the things that you're supposed to be doing in terms of your home, um, because there's scriptures about this, I will drop them in the description box. And I'm not here to try and point fingers. I told you guys when I was younger, I was really messy. And that's also how I know when I'm getting overwhelmed, when I'm starting to come off of my purpose, when my, my home starts to become messy. Um, what you need to do is to pray against anything. So ask Father, clean out my spiritual ears. Wipe away any scales on my spiritual eyes, any pollution and anything unclean that I have allowed into my temple through false teachings, through doctrines of devils, through anything I have been listening to that has now polluted my spirit. Uproot it, Lord, and I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. Father, create in me a new heart and give me a new mind. Renew me, give me something new, Lord, that I am now afresh. I'm a new cleaned vessel, ready for a new infilling of your spirit, that I can receive again something new and start again. Father, all that is messy and unclean, before you, I repent. Give me the tools needed to clean up my spiritual life, that it will manifest in my physical world in the name of Jesus, okay? What I'd suggest is that you fast. You fast, and for those days when you're fasting, I'm not gonna say how long, but you, you fast because you want organization. And sorry, I should have said this as well. Pray against, and I thank you, Holy Spirit, because I love that he reminds me how to, what to speak, all right? But pray against also, I bind up the spirit of confusion, of doubt, of double-mindedness in the name of Jesus. And I have faith in every word that proceeds out of the mouth of my God, my Lord Jesus Christ. I receive him as my Lord and Savior, and I will follow his word only in the name of Jesus, okay? So, um, yeah, but I would say to fast, okay? And in, in you fasting, what you're going to do, if you've got a lot of mess in your house, if you've been hoarding anything, if you're not keeping up with the, your household cleanliness, in those times when you're fasting, that's what you're gonna pray against. I'm going to organize my life. Cleanliness is uh, something that is part of my being. You start prophesying. I'm a person that is organized. That single-mindedness and faith in the word of God is who I am. Start prophesying over your, your, yourself, your life, to renew your mind. You must speak life into yourself, okay? My home and your children, if there was a child there, if there's something, you've got a child, I'm not sure who I'm speaking to, then you start prophesying this over your children too. My children are not confused. They are prosperous. They have wisdom. They will do exactly what the Lord has called them to do, okay? So I think whoever this message is for, that you're going through a little bit of a disorganized 
time at the time at this time you gotta watch what you're listening to what you're ingesting that's why i saw the kitchen whatever you're ingesting in terms of your spiritual food if you're eating from dirty places not being rude but some people that's that's what it is they know that there's unclean things going on on the inside of them and they will still keep spewing which i think is so unfair go and take some time out and sort yourself out but anyway yeah we all we all need to sort ourselves out but um but yeah i hope this helps you don't feel discouraged you just take stock like oh do you know what everything else can wait for a couple of days i got to disappear and i know it sounds hard but you've got to disappear for a little period of time to get yourself back to to you back to the creator so he can remind you who you are you prophesy the word of god over yourself speak it i am this i am that and i am not that and I'm going to make sure everything in my life comes in line with the word of God, okay? But yeah, be encouraged. Just take time and get that cleared away, okay? But yeah, shalom.